when I was here in Oakland custody in like 91 or something at Care for Genez, uh, open custody facility here for use. Uh, I was in Cecil Facer maximum security for five months and then three months in open custody. I started going to high school here in Northern High School. I liked it, but I didn't know anybody. Showed up, smoked reefer right in the smoking section. Everybody looked at me like, maybe it's not the right place to light right up. So I didn't. I just hid around, smoked in the bushes, looked all shady, and started to get that feeling that you're hiding more in life by doing that, using drugs as a teen and trying not to fit in, not wanting to bug anybody. I had really good hydro weed and brought it back in between my cheeks. I was fried. My mom was with me. She was scared. I just said I was crying and they didn't even check me. I think they knew and they just didn't want to say anything. And, but maybe they did see me crying inside. And I really was. Felt kind of abandoned for a couple of years and did a couple of breaking and enters and didn't get far. Got caught. Did my time. Learned that uh, you say I instead of what we did. Saying I and committing yourself to the situation doesn't particularly expose the others that are there, your core cues, but after they've said that it was my idea or I was the one that uh, carried everything out, uh, you know, the one guy called himself a rat forever and punched his own face in and I had to like cuddle him and hold him and tell him that I was in the cell next to him doing the statement next that was saying what I did not denying anything and just, you know, grieving that he gave up what I did instead of what he did. You know, it just, he called himself a rat for a long time, but it didn't matter to me because I've already, they already have proof that I was there, so you can't get out of it. You know, what are you going to lie or something so simple and bother people, you know, make them think their neighbors are stealing from them and shit? No, you got to commit to it and and the discomfort of the lie. Regardless, I care for it. And as being 16 here, I started writing poetry and heard Depeche Mode for the first time. The girl that was in the group home, she pushed it, pulled Black Sabbath out of the deck and said, no, you guys always have your way. I would like to listen to Depeche Mode. We all call her like silly, gay, and all this ignorant stuff, but I really liked her. I thought she was a sexy, humorous, really good person. I'm pretty sure she's a peer support counselor now. And I've reached out to her a couple of times and she's always been there. She's a really good person. But yeah, I heard Depeche Mode for the first time. I love them. I love Depeche Mode. Years and years and longing to write like that. And I still can't. Thanks, man.